Hello guys and welcome back to the bench and today we're going to go over the display color shifts um, I believe this is a complete set and um, it's really hard to read the names once the paint is mixed it's a black label and uh, the, the packaging is kind of poor the, the jars are fantastic and uh, but the labeling is, is uh, a little bit on the poor side they should have went with a, uh, a white font so I could read it but anyway, I'm going to show you guys the colors that I have and, um, and how to blend these, how to mix them for the airbrush. And we're going to go over the results of all of them. Um, I'm going to spray many of these off camera. We'll do about four of them on camera. Maybe we'll do these four on top. We'll do four on camera and the rest I'll do off and then we'll go over the results. But first let's look at the colors. I'm going to see if I can read the names to you guys. Uh, this is Regal Gold. Here we have, hold on, Mystic Violet. You can see the shifting up there. Here we have, hold on, Devil Green. Let's put these four down here, go across. All right, what do we have here? Tiger's Eye. Again, I'm sitting over here off the side of the camera. That's why I favor this side. All right, and we have Lucky Shamrock. Looks like it's got a hint of blue in it there. Uh, vivid Purple. Oh, it looks like uh, some kind of gold is in that. Uh, what do we have here? Dark Amethyst. Almost, almost looks the same. Yeah, you could probably uh, <laughs> pick one or the other. I don't think you need both of them. Uh, Alluring Ruby? Is that what I'm saying? It's hard to read. See how... See guys, the font is really poor. Uh, Rocky Brown. I wish they came out looking this bright, but they don't. You know, because you got to spray them over black. They come out much darker than what the image is shown here. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see what this is. Cosmic Blue. Again, this looks like these other ones. Yeah, we're getting kind of similars here. Pick one of the purples. I think you're going to get the same result. Uh, elegant. I can't remember. Elegant, elegant, yeah, elegant emerald. There we go. Greenish blue with some purple in it, I guess. Look out for my Mr. Gundam, new Gundam Converge over there. Uh, midnight red. Looks like gold and yellow. All right, let's go to these guys in the back. What do we have here? Galactic purple. Oh, it's a little different from the others. Uh, electric blue very nice blue I'll take that without the color shift and now these I'm gonna sh I left not shaking because I want to show you guys what they look like when they're not shaking first of all it's hellfire gold and you can see what it's gonna look like and this is magical magenta kind of looks like the other four or five that when the same color but anyway you can see how it has separated see the giant uh, ball bearing in there there it is you can see that one so look at the coloring on the bottom that'll tell you how little pigment is in this color change and yet when you spray it's tons of metal flakes so it's really really odd I numbered them so when I spray them I know uh, what spoon goes with what that's why I put my own numbering on them but anyway this is really really thick paint and we're gonna have to thin this at least 60 40 and 60 being the thinner 40 being the paint so 40 60 even 3070. It's how thin we're going to get them. All right, I'll mix one up and we're going to shoot it through my Badger 105 Patriot. Um, terrific for these. This is a 0.55, and um, the bigger the needle, the better because I mean, you can see the metal flake. Can you? I mean, you can actually see the flakes. They're so they're large metal flakes. But um, the larger the needle you guys have, the better. At least the, uh, I wouldn't, you can't go smaller than a three. You could try it. Um, I automatically just went straight to a 0.5, but if you have a 0.4, that's fine too. Uh, if you get the smaller needle, you're going to have to jack up the air pressure probably a little more. This is a really efficient airbrush. This only requires about 15 psi no matter what goes through it. So uh, this sprays a lot of um, heavier primer types and these thick metallics without an issue. Um, it's pretty much made for that. So that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to show you. How we're going to steer these up let me show you 
All right. Now, with these brands paints, let me turn the camera a little bit. With these brand, they like to fill it right to the top, which is good. Now, this one's a little further down. Let's see if I can show you. Some of these are filled right to the top. You know, and you've got to be careful when you open them. And there are differing amounts. But you're not going to get less. You're going to get your money's worth. But um, you're going to have to steer this for a bit. Now watch the pigment in the bottom. Look at that. See it? Look at that. And um, you can pretty much get it going. And you can use my power. I can use the power uh, mixer also. But I'm going to do this by hand just to show you because I want you guys to see it. The, once the, you know, two shots of the power mixer. Let me grab it. It's off camera. I mean, two shots of this. And it's going to be mixed up. I just wanted you guys to see the, to see it coming out. See it? See, it's all. It's all, it's mostly the the uh, the medium that carries the pigment. And then there's your pigment at the bottom. But once you get it stirred up. You know, it stays. It'll stay for a while. I've shaken these and sprayed some throughout the week, and they've stayed that way for quite quite a while. It takes a long time for them to resettle down. You know, these came in with my master shipment of all the display paints, so they've been sitting, you know, up until this test. Now, for you guys without a power mixer, that's why I'm not going to show it here. We're going to stir this up. All right, just get this off our little uh, stick here, and here's what you got to do. You're going to have to re-shake it. So we're going to cap it, and then shake it. Now. You can hear the ball bearing. I don't want to shake it on camera. Get you guys uh, dizzy. And now you're all set. It's it's pretty well shaken. Um, you can also put it in that little power shaker I showed you guys in a couple of videos earlier. But uh, you can hear it going. And uh, that should do it. I mean, that, that should get you going. Now we're going to take our cup. We're going to go back in. Take the stick we were just using. And... Watch how thick now. Look at it now. And just gonna let it drip right. Oh, something just fell in the background. Let it drip right through. And you're only gonna need about two of these. That's it. Because we're gonna thin this out. We're only gonna spray a couple of spoons, a couple of uh, plastic pieces, so we can uh, show you guys the results. All right. Cap it up. And for the test, we're going to use. Well, actually, we'll just put these four aside because these are the four we're going to test. All right. I like their thinner for their paints. I've tested a lot, but I've gotten really good results using their thinner. Now, it's not that expensive, and you're getting a giant bottle here. This is a really good value. So if you guys order these, make sure you throw these in the cart. And um, this tool wash cleans the airbrush terrific. So um, we're going to do both. We're going to use the uh, tool wash, and we're going to use the... Uh, wiping it up. I forgot I had a little top and we're going to use the their thinner it's just it just works take a shot of this through the airbrush and it cleans it right out all right so here's what we're working with can you see it now let's go in now I'm gonna go by eye because this is, I've been doing this all week but uh, you want to like I said at least uh, 60 40 and I mean 60 thinner you know, you can load it right up. It can't be uh, thin enough. If you think you've thinned it, then add a little more. Then add a little more thinner. Now, right now you're saying it's mostly thinner. So, let me get this out of the way. All right. So, start it off, and then I like to do the swirl on the desk. So, let's go and get that done. That should pick up most of the pigments. And there you go. Can you see it? Now, it's off the bottom. And you're ready to go. That was by eye. But you're not going to be able to do the drag test and see what holds back. Because it's really thin. And these, these pigments are heavy. This metal flake, it just drops right to the bottom. But believe me, the results are great once you spray it. And this stuff sprays super easy. It goes right on first coat. It goes on glossy, smooth, and it dries super fast. So as far as spraying this stuff goes, it's, uh, it's a joy. It really, it really went on well. So um, let's head over to the booth. We'll put this one in right now. And then uh, in between takes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, mix all three of them up. Then we're going to just blast through these. And I want to show you guys the results once we're done. We're going to, like I said, using the Patriot 105. I'll see you at the booth.
All right, guys, we're at the booth, and we're going to go ahead with the uh, Hellfire Gold to start with. Let's hope it looks like that. We're going to spray it over a glossy black spoon. This is uh, Tamiya gloss black spray paint from my base. I'm going to go with a butter knife so we can see what it looks like without any curves on it. And we're going to spray it over a straight black plastic so you can see how it looks over without even bothering with the gloss black base. And uh, I might put, I'm going to pick one of these few colors to go over uh, some Gundam parts. Like I want to do the shield with the cross insert. So we're going to do those on two different colors. I'll pick one of these. And I got another Gumpla piece we're going to test. So let's go ahead and start with the gloss black spoon. It's going to be hard for you, yeah, it's going to be hard for you guys to see until, uh, We're done with the test, I think. You can start to see it now. It's a dark green, boy, that's for sure. But you can get in close. It doesn't run. It doesn't flood. There it is. It's hard to see, huh? Oh, there it is. You can see it. Beautiful green color. Wow. All right. Let's go over a... Uh, Clean black plastic spoon. Nothing special here. No uh, flash drying it or anything. It just goes right on. There you can see it again. All right, we'll try it across a flat surface. There you go. How's that? Now you can see it. Right. I don't know if that's bright enough to go onto the shield. We want to use a bright color for that shield piece, so uh, we'll hold off on that. All right, guys. Let me clean this out and go with another color. All right, guys. Next up is... What do we got here? Oh, boy. Magic Magenta. All right. Like I said, it's hard to read the packaging. <laughs> you really don't see it on the first shot, but it comes into play on the second shot. Oh boy, it's uh, it is a dark purple. Look at that! Wow. Even without the color shift, it's a beautiful purple. Wow. All right, this is over the regular black plastic. All right, let's try it over this flat plastic butter knife. The butter knife's all marked up. Can you see it? Let's see if we can get a better one. Hold on, guys. That was not a good-looking butter knife, whatever this is. Here, let's try this one. Yeah, this is better. There we go. Now I'm not sure. Let's try it over a piece. Let's see. Yeah, it covers really well. And it covers it quick. Pretty much one shot. Beautiful. That's a beautiful dark purple. Excellent. All right, guys. Let me let this uh, sit there and dry, and let me clean this out, and we'll go on to the next color. All right, guys. Next up, we have. Make sure I can read this. Bit, electric blue, and you can see it in the cup. How nice! But look at the blue that it appears in the cup. 
And there's your two colors. See it? But when you spray it, it comes out, they all come out really dark and you really need a good light source. A light source to see uh, the true nature of it. Let's go with the black spoon. Nothing yet. Here it goes. Wow. Oh, you can't see it. That's a dark blue, huh? Wow, is that dark. But, good looking. They are good looking metallics, I will give you that. Sitting here, you can't really see the dark ones like this, which is unfortunate. But at the end, I'm going to show you guys uh, these in the sunlight at the very end of the video. I'm trying to get this on a wet coat. There it goes. Now you can see it, right, guys? Beautiful. All right, let's try. Doing an actual piece here. There we go. Just trying to get so it's a nice, smooth, shiny, wet coat at the end. Very nice. All right, what we'll do is we're going to put the cross part in a different color and snap them together and see what kind of effect we get. All right. All right, guys. Let me grab the last color, and then we'll go over everything. All right, guys. Next up, we have Galactic Purple. I wish with this stuff, this goldish color, you can see it there, would be the prominent color, and then you'd see the purple. But it's the other way around. It's always the darker because you're spraying it over black. Now, I've tried. I'm going to show you guys now. Spraying it over uh, lighter colors. I'm going to show you what we get. First, let's go with the Black Spoon. About two, three inches from the the piece. Go slow on your final shot. Get a nice wet coat. It doesn't run. It just it just goes on great. See it? It just comes out. It, it's just the nature of it. All right. Let's try it across uh, a flat surface. You guys can see it. Can you see it going on? I guess you can. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see. I can just load it up wet and it just goes, it just lays itself right down. It dries fast. It's beautiful. All right. Over a regular black plastic spoon, unpainted. can't even see it. I'll try my best at the end, but uh, I think I'm going to have to go out in the sunlight to get the results we're looking for here. All right, let's try it over this little gumpla piece here. I'm hoping the contrast shows off between the two. At this point, it looks like it's just going to be two dark pieces stamped together. Not bad, though. You really have to see it with the human eyes.
All right, let me show you something. I'm gonna get you guys something that's darker to spray it over. You know? Check this out, how oh, you're not really... Now, I've done a, top, a couple of these before this, so you guys can see the results. Let's try it over something dark. Hold on one second. All right, let's try it over some different colors. I'm trying to see what other colors I can get. The darker, the better. See, whatever color it's going to go over, it's going to be the prominent color. You're going to get a little bit of a color shifting effect with this gold, but not much. Now, I did do a few that really came through. I'm thinking maybe a real dark gray, but let's try this gray primer. I don't know, I don't see it. One of the pieces I did that's drying now off camera. Oh, I can see the purple now. All right. It really looks good, the one that I did off camera. It's not prominent, it's subtle, but it's nice. It's a nice enough effect. All right, we'll let it dry and see how it looks under the light. You can see the purple hue right there, see it? So it is subtle. Anyway, let's have these all dry. I'll meet you back at the bench. I sprayed all of them, so you're going to see every color. All right, guys, we're going to start off with the results of the ones I just showed you that I airbrushed, and then uh, I'll show you the ones I've done in the back off camera. Um, it's pretty tricky on camera to see the color shift because even in person, it's not dramatic. Um, let me show you what I mean. Hold on one second. All right, guys, because I, I wanted to go and uh, get the Vallejo. Vallejo. See, you can see it right away. With these, you can't. But I had to go in the sun and take pictures in the sun. And uh, I'll put those still shots. Make sure you stay to the end of the video because uh, I'm going to show you what they look like in the sun so you guys can see the dramatic, you know, of the, the color shift. But this is Hellfire Gold. I mean, it looks nothing like that, but has no black behind it. It needs a black behind it. This is over the pl plain plastic. And this is over the gloss black. Much, much shinier and deep. And this is over the spoon, the knife. Let me move my camera so you guys can see this a little. There we go. And there it is over the knife. So you can kind of see the green that it is. Really nice metallic, which I do like. If you're using it just as a metallic, I think they're fantastic. This will look awesome on like the, the Dynamis. All right, here we have uh, Magical Magenta. Try to get everything out of your way. There you go. Let's see now you can't see the shift. I'm trying to get a color shift. Let's see if I can check it, compare it to the Vallejo. Well, it's a whole different color. You know, not, the Vallejo doesn't show up much on camera either, I guess. You can hear me shuffling through them, you know. No, I don't really see anything that dramatic with them, me too. That one mostly. But this is a deep, deep high gloss. It, it really sprays beautifully. I'm trying to, I'm, I can't find fault with the paint itself. It's the color shifting that is just really subtle unless you get it in the right light, like I'll show you at the end of the video in, uh, in the sun. Here it is on a piece. See it? You can see how nice and deep it is. It's tough. Let me see if I can get the light close. There you go. That's the uh, original color. Then I put black over it, and then we sprayed this. But 
I'm not getting a color shift. You will in different lighting, which is tough to recreate on camera here. Electric blue. Hardly blue. So this is what it tells you it's supposed to look like. And I guess under a bright sun, almost, you would get it. But this is a deep emerald color. That's over the straight plastic. That's over the gloss black. Here's what it looks like just painted up. See how different it is. Look at that. You only get it when the sun when the light hits it directly. You get this brightish color. Again, though, it is durable. It sprays like glass. It sprays easy. It cleans out of the brush easy. Um, check this out. All I did was flush this stuff through it, do a backwash, flush it out, wipe it out between every color. All right? Now I'm going to loosen up the needle. Here's the chuck. Needle comes right out. And look at this. It's spotless. It, it cleans up nice. Um, it does it all. So uh, it does it all except really show a really great <laughs> color shifting. Uh, here's the shield we did. Look how nice that is. Now we're going to put this piece over it. But I don't think we're going to get a dramatic shifting color like I was looking for. But we'll leave this piece out. Put this aside because we're going to attach it to this next piece. All right, next up is Galactic Purple. Look at that. Is that beautiful? Except I'm not getting that. See, you can see the gold that you're supposed to get. So probably in the highlights, and I think these... LED lights that I'm using are probably not great for this because the sunlight outside did give me an effect and uh, I'll say it again stay to the end of the video and uh, I'll put some still shots of some of these I grabbed like half of them and held them up in the sun so you guys can see it's over the plain black plastic I'm trying to get it like in distant shots so you guys can see it you can see it a little bit in the booth this is how it's supposed to look straight without any bends and curves this is it over the cross piece that's going to go inside the uh, the shield. Let's see if we can get that. Again, I, it's not going to be the dramatic effect I was hoping for. No, it, it kind of looks pretty cool. See it? There you go. Look at that. That's not bad. I was hoping this was a brighter, but it's even even this does not spray this color. It, it just comes out dark. Yeah, they all come out. You know, really deep but that's not bad huh that look that's a pro job I just took this right off the runner I think this is this is an entry grade this is entry grade Gundam the uh, RX-78 and look at that I mean, that's the red I sprayed it with the black uh, Tamiya and then I put the green and obviously you saw me put the star in just now and there you can see the two colors right there so that's pretty unique all right guys let me pause the camera and bring in some more colors all right, guys, look at all these spoons. All right, we're going to go one. I label them, as I said. One across, and we'll double them up. All right, this one is called Regal Gold. And that's this. See the difference? But it, it doesn't show up. Um, I sprayed it over lighter colors, and you don't see it. At the end, I'm going to show you the results of some of them over the light primers so you guys can see what we get. This is over the black plastic. You get a little bit more um, sparkling effect, which is odd. It's I mean the bullet you saw it black, but I guess being a matte plastic versus a glossy base makes the difference. This is what it looks like straight up sprayed flat. I mean on a flat surface. Alright, number two is Mystic Violet. That's a beauty, huh? Again, no color shifting. As, I, as far as this lighting goes. Here it is over the black plastic. This is over white. You can barely see it, so I told you. <laughs> it's, uh, let's get that out of here. It's just impossible to see over anything but black. Beautiful color, though. All right, next one up will be Devil Green. 
That is dark, huh? Look at that. Now this is cool because I like the way it's black all around except for where the sun, or I should say the light hits it. Completely different over the black plastic, that's for sure. Look at the difference. And this is it sprayed directly. Look at that. It's still dark. Look at that. Because that's the original base, the black plastic, and that's the paint. And I took it and sprayed it over a gold piece from another test I did recently. And it's pretty subtle. It is pretty subtle. You just don't see it at all. I layered it on there too. That's why I wanted to show you guys how it only works over uh, black. All right. Uh, what we got here? Tiger's Eye. All right. Tiger's Eye. Again, a beautiful metallic paint. I mean, a beautiful metallic paint. This will look great on some cars and heart rods and muscle cars but look at it it's just so smooth but to get the uh, I'm guessing it's this yellowish that should show up in the highlights and it's just it doesn't have the uh, let's see. always hear me digging around back here the Vallejo is the one I put a dull coat on but you can even see with the dull coat the differences uh, see I can't see much in this Vallejo but uh, let's look for another one well, you can see it in this one. You can kind of see the blue here. So, it, I guess they're all not a dramatic color shift. Uh, this is the color spray directly on a flat surface. All right, we have Lucky Shamrock. Black plastic versus gloss black. Big difference. And this is what it looks like straight up on a flat surface. Nice. Nice green. All right. Next up is uh, Vivid Purple. All right. It's deep. Actually, you don't much, eh, not much different from this. Look. <laughs> That's why I said on the purples... If you're going to buy a collection of these, you can skip and just pick one. This is a little more subtle over the plain black plastic. This is what it looks like straight up flake, sprayed on a flat surface. Very nice purple. And this is it sprayed over a, uh, like a, and a, I don't know, yeah, we're going to say uh, like a tungsten, and it was a dark gold. I should have marked down what it was. You know, not quite. It was like this. All right? Magnesium, maybe? Not quite gunmetal. But I got a result out of this one for some reason. This one, I got a result. And I think I... And I like it. It's pretty subtle. But at least I can see the purple hues. But I had... I, had, I layered it on. And for some reason, these dark purples are the only ones that gave me a result. See it? You can see the purple flake. And it's only in the light where you get the purple. I'm trying to get the light blocked out. But I sprayed that also over these and got no results. So, take that with a grain of salt. It did look good over this uh, magnesium color, whatever color this was. But that's a, that's a real good looking one. Alright, next up is uh, Dark Amethyst. Again, I only sprayed this is my first tester piece. And I, I didn't spray it on everything, but this is the brightest of all the purples, including the one we just looked at. You can see how much brighter. Let's go back to this other one again. Yeah, it's close to this one, but still a bit brighter. So this one is the brightest of the purples, and it's called Dark <laughs> Dark Amethyst. CP5 is the number. That's beautiful. But not much in the way of color shifting, which is upsetting to me. Well, let me get the rest of these, and uh, we'll wrap this up. Oh, keep hitting the camera, guys. All right, let's wrap this baby up. All right, there we go. What do we have here? Uh, alluring Ruby. There we go. There we go. Almost a root bear color with some purple in it. Now here I can see the yellow coming through in person. A lot of these are at the very end of the video, guys, in still shots of uh, in the sun, so you guys can kind of see the color shifting that's it over regular black plastic and that's it over gloss 
and that's what it looks like straight up on a flat piece all right nice you can kind of see the the yellow gold coming through when I when I tip it and I sprayed this over this gray piece here just to see if it gave me anything I made it really shiny but as far as color shifting I didn't get you can it's got a little bit of a highlight to it that's it it was an experiment next up is Rocky Brown it's more gold in person than it looks green on camera and it looks really uh, that's a golden green yeah you can see it there that's what it looks like really this is over plain plastic all right what do we have here cosmic blue make sure no dust on these babies look at that that is a nice deep dark blue look at that I do like this color quite a bit that's it sprayed straight up see it this is over black plastic much different color real nice this is over a, a gold base a light gold but it did nothing <laughs> that's why I wanted to show you guys all of the clearer colors that I sprayed it over and got really bad results this is the best results I've gotten this was over um, this is over a chrome I think I sprayed this over a chrome and this is what I got and this took two uh, two layerings drying it and going over it again so, so you, you really get the purple highlight but overall it still looks like what it's what I started with you know but still that's a pretty cool effect all right what do we have here midnight red again more in that root bear golden color very nice though that's over black plastic straight up no gloss black and this is what it looks like sprayed on straight to a flat surface And what we have here elegant emerald all right let's check that wow in person it's kind of green but on camera as I'm looking through it it's almost it's got that bluish hue that it should have here's what it looks like in person see the green but look at this it's almost bluish over the black let's see how it looks over the black plastic yeah completely different so right here I can see the purple coming through here in my lighting again stay to the end of the video right after this I'll put up some still shots of these in the Sun now this is it sprayed over AK gray primer uh, nothing little bit of green not worth it I I think it's not worth trying and then this is it over a uh, dark gray gumpla piece it was this the God Gundam master Gundam see it how oh, it gives it a nice highlighted look that ain't bad huh and it dried really smooth look at that you can see the purple right here but only when the light hits it so that's pretty cool so you can work the effects on different applications but as far as color shifting goes it's not dramatic like I can see a shift right now on this piece and it's I can see the gold back here and the red so yeah, uh, take it with a grain of salt. You guys are gonna have to see them in person. Pick the colors you really like. I personally think they make terrific metallics. I mean, they go on wonderful. They're durable. They're beautiful. But uh, to get a dramatic color shifting effect, I think you're gonna have to change your bulbs and get the right lighting. Uh, in the sunlight, I saw the change. That's why I went in my yard and I held a bunch, bunch of spoons and took a picture. Took several shots. You're gonna see it at the end of this video. It'll go right through, so you guys can see what these look like in different lighting but um, that's the test I did tested them all I do like them the color shifting effect is not super dramatic if almost at all in some cases but I still think they're great paints they paint well if you buy any buy this thinner it works really good with them and this tool cleaner clean the airbrush right out this is sitting out because you can use this too it works with any thinner any lacquer thinner you have and make sure you thin it you know 40 60 or even 30 70 70 being the thinner 
and you won't have a problem. And uh, shoot it with the biggest nozzle you can. This is a .55 in my Badger. Now I'll put a link below to these paints. There's also a coupon code to save 10% at them at uh, Gundam Pros. So make sure you use the link for Gundam Pros and then use the coupon um, for the discount. And uh, grab them while you can because uh, it takes a while for these babies to come in stock. And I know they just come in the stock. So you guys are going to want to grab them while you can. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I have a bunch more tests to go. I got a new portable uh, compressor I'm going to be testing over the weekend. It's going to be great. And uh, like the video. It helps a lot, guys. It does help a lot. So please like the video. And uh, comment below if you have any more questions. And again, guys, have a great weekend coming up. And we'll see you in the next video.